Hello, I'm going to do the Cancer, the Capricorn and Cancer love reading. And this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take what does. If it does not, leave what does not. Um, so we're going to get some Romance Angel for the, the middle. I have a deck for this side, a deck for that side. So whatever side resonates with you or it could just be one big message for you. Then we'll get some clarifiers and close out with an oracle. All right. So let's pull a Romance Angel card. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. All right, so let's pull some cards for this side. High Priestess, Queen of Cups, Knight of Cups, Four of Swords, Seven of Swords, Hermit, and Five of Pentacles. I feel like this side needs some time to themselves to think about things. I feel like this side is like emotional. I see a lot of blue. I feel a lot of blue. Um, High Priestess is about looking within to find some answers. Um, Knight of Cups is reaching out. And then I feel like with this hand, it's reaching out. Um, a five of pentacles is feeling like you're alone, um, feeling like you're by yourself, but being able to reach out for help, for communication. I'm feeling the seven of swords, that's really like catching my eye. I feel like it's sneaking around, not being true to how you really feel. Maybe that's what it is, is that this side is not really being true to how they really feel because they need to take that time to look within, to light that path, to see how they really feel. Maybe this side is questioning things. All right, so let's get some cards for the other side. I was just looking at this card, and I was, I was like, well, maybe this side thought that things... Things were going to go differently within this relationship. Things were going to be bigger. Things were going to be different. Things were going to be, I don't know. Like it wasn't what that you were thinking. Look at this. We have High Priestess again. You both have High Priestess, and that's about listening to that inner voice, that inner feeling, right? What is it that your voice is saying? Is there red flags? For some reason, the word red, looking at red flags, for some reason, that came up for me. King of Pentacles chariot so that's the cancer card and then we have the king of pentacles here we have seven of wands nine of wands and the magician i kind of feel like you're both kind of tired i feel like you're you're both overwhelmed i feel that i feel that you're both struggling So this side, I, I feel like this side is ready to, wants to put the work in. But I also feel like this tire, this side is really, really tired. I feel like, I feel like this side feels their needs aren't being met. I feel like with the magician as an overall energy, I feel like this side wants to figure it out, but they're, you're not really sure how to figure it out. There could have been something that had to do with someone's job or with money or maybe money's been a struggle or there's been maybe somebody bought something really big or did something with some money that they didn't tell the other person and maybe that created some sort of issue between the two of you. You know, definitely finances are a big factor within a relationship. When finances are tight, it creates a big strain within the relationship. And then that causes other rifts, that causes other problems. It's almost like, you know, then you start being irritated with the other person about absolutely everything that they do. So that could be 
you know, is finances and career, is that the root of the problem? It could be that maybe somebody is spending an awful lot of time at their job. Maybe they're starting a new business or they just started a new job and it's like they're spending a lot of time there and the other person is feeling alone, right? The other person is feeling um, neglected. And so maybe that was that's what needs to be worked out is making sure that that time is spent together. Page of Cups, feeling emotionally better, right? Having your needs met, the Queen of Swords, being able to get past this difficult situation that the two of you are going through, growing, evolving. I feel like this relationship is definitely going through some, um, going through some growing pains. We have the Moon um, on top of the Hermit, and I feel like maybe you are deceiving yourself about maybe some things that are going on that maybe you need. To, I feel like this side needs to take a deeper look on about your feelings and about what's going on with you. This side may be feeling that this other side was deceptive, especially with the Seven of Swords and the Moon, because that's definitely deception and sneaking and not, you know, being upfront with something. Or it could be that this side is not being upfront about how they're really feeling towards, you know, with the other person. Like maybe this person, this side is asking, hey, how are you really feeling about this? And this side is like, well, it's fine. But inside, they're not being true to how they really feel. They're they're not wanting to have conflict. So they're like, oh, it's fine, it's good, you know, I'm fine. But really inside, like they're frustrated and they're irritated and they're not being true to how they really feel about the situation. We have the Ace of Pentacles, and that is that new start, that new be new beginning. Could be a new job. Maybe this person, you know, started a new job, or maybe it represents that this person is irritated. Maybe this person started a new job and is working a lot, so maybe it it could represent that. This side definitely has a lot of hope and wants to work on things. I feel that hand work reaching out, you know, it's wanting to take the initiative to work through this. This side has a magician. You both have the magician for overall energy and the ener the magician is about, again, with the hands, taking things in your own hands, taking control. What are those things that you can do to make this happen, to make this, this relationship work? What are those things that you can do to get past this bump in the road that the two of you are having right now? The High Priestess came up for both of you, so I feel like it's definitely, what is that inner voice telling you? What are those feelings? You know, what are those thoughts? What is that? What's going on inside of you? What are you really feeling? How are you, how are you really feeling? Knight of Pentacles is about that slow, steady progress and wanting change for the good, wanting change for the better. I definitely feel like the two of you want change within this relationship. We have the King of Cups, okay? That is somebody that making things easier. I feel like there's a lot of stress and tension between the two of you. What are those things that you can do to make things flow easier within this relationship, to make things um, calmer, happier? Three of Cups, getting back in that happy space. Um, Maybe there's other people that are involved. Maybe maybe this side is listening to other people or maybe there are other people that are talking about things and it's like, no, like I'm not going to listen to other people. I'm not going to hear what other people have to say. This relationship is between you and me and that's the two of us working this out and figuring this out together. You can hear what other people have to say, but in the end, it's like, no, it's between the two of you standing up for this relationship between the two of you and maybe this is something that has kind of been delayed and hasn't happened should have happened earlier but it hasn't and it's kind of gotten to this boiling part point right now and this side may have some disappointing news that they have to tell this side and maybe this side is saying hey don't let other don't listen to other people right I feel like since it came out right after that card it's like this side may want to tell that side, like, stop letting other people butt into our relationship and stop letting other people have opinions about our relationship. Our relationship is between us. All right. Strength card, being strong and confident and getting past a situation and kind of talking about those more difficult things, right? Being able to talk about those harder things to talk about, but it's necessary in order to work through the relationship, but doing it in a kind and positive way. I definitely feel like this side wants to reach out to this side, okay, because we have the page of wands, and that's about communication, wanting to communicate. 
This side wants to communicate and work through things, right? Because this side wants the Ten of Cups. The side wants it to work, wants it to happen. I feel like this side is definitely very frustrated. I feel like this side is frustrated with this side. Um, but this side definitely wants that Ten of Cups. They want things to work out. They want to get past the situation. They want to deal with it. And they maybe aren't really sure how to. So they're trying to figure that out. They want to and they, they want... I feel like this side kind of comes around to it, right? I feel like this... This side kind of has this heaviness, this more deception part, but this side does have the star and the magician, so I do feel that this side does start to come around, but it may take a little bit longer. And again, if they're hearing things from other people and they're letting them get involved, then that's definitely creating even more of a problem. If it, it you know, maybe that's the problem, not the finances and career, or maybe they're, this person is talking to other people at, at their work, you know, and they're saying something. But again, this is between the two of you. I love you. These are powerful words. So I do feel that there is love and a connection between the two of you, right? And when was the last time you said that to each other and you meant it? That you felt it and you meant it. And you, you said it with your heart and your soul. And maybe that's what the two of you need to get back to. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.